Today we're going to bypass the iPod disabled screen without restoring the iPod. This will work with iPhones up to uh, 4, 4S as long as it's running 5.01, hasn't been upgraded to 5.1. So what we're going to do is first prepare the iPod ahead of time by putting it into DFU mode. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and power it down. And we can do this now, we can actually do it later on if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and do it beforehand. It's already plugged into the computer. Go ahead and turn the device off and wait till that little spinning wheel comes on the center of the screen and then we know it's completely powered down. What we're going to do is press the power button until the Apple shows up. Then we're going to also press the home button at the same time. Keep them both depressed until the screen blacks out and then we'll release the power button, continue holding the home. So there's power, home, go ahead and hold on till the screen blacks out and then release the power button. Go ahead and keep on holding the home button until you see the device appear in DFU mode on your computer. You should have a dialog, or uh, if iTunes hasn't already opened, it probably will and tell you that you need a restore. And once you close out of that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Gecko Toolkit here. And this will take a couple seconds to process. And I have black bars on the sides of my screen because I thought this screen capture software, uh, well, it's new. So we'll have to live with that for now. Now the uh, toolkit will open up here and what we're going to do is select the bypass uh, iTunes or iPhone disabled tab. It's the second one from the left. And once we do that, we can use the drop down to select our device. In this case, it's going to be an iPod uh, second generation. You can see there's some other options there. Go ahead and click on the bypass button and you'll have a uh, prompt here that says to put the device into DFU mode. But remember, we've already done that beforehand. So you don't have to worry about that now, although you have the option of putting it into DFU mode at this point. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And we'll have another dialog that opens up here. And what we're looking for down here at the bottom is the prompt that says the, the root password has been or the password has been set to Alpine. And you'll see that show up shortly. This is a relatively short process. Meanwhile, on the device, what you're going to see is the screen will flash white for a second. And then we'll have a little spinning wheel at the bottom momentarily. And then what we're looking for is an apple with the progress bar that does not move. So there's your spinning wheel. Now we're going to see a progress bar with an apple, but it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to stay there on the screen. This is going to prompt us to go back to the dialog. And this one on the top left hand corner here, you see we've got root and alpine here. We're going to go ahead and close this screen. And at this point, you'll have a little message here that says if a dialog pops up asking you to click Y or N for yes or no, go ahead and type in N and then click enter. Keep that in mind. We'll see that show up here in just a second. Go ahead and click on OK. And let's see if we can uh, make some room here. And here's the uh, pop up dialog I was talking about down here. You're going to see it. you've got an option for yes or no. Just go ahead and click in N for no and then hit enter. And that will disappear. Go back on the iPod and what we're looking for here is it's going to reboot and when it does, we won't have the iPod disabled connect to iTunes message anymore. What we'll be able to do is enter our password if we know what it is. If you don't know your password, you will still have to perform this to bypass the iPod disabled screen. And then you can go to the other video that I have, which will actually show you how to read the password. But as long as you're an iPod disabled connect to iTunes, you cannot read the password. You have to bypass the screen first. And as you'll see here shortly, the device is going to reboot. And when it does, you'll have the option to enter your password. And now the disabled message, as you can see, is gone and you have your password prompt. 